Welcome back to Rod Reacts. Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm having a fantastic day. And um, we're going to check out India, the future global super power. And I ab absolutely agree to that, that sentence, that title. Future global super powered. India definitely is going to be there. They're on pace to have the most people on earth. A lot of great things come out of India that we're learning. Um... I know a lot of our doctors come out of India, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm learning about India through this channel, so I don't know too much about it, but I I, I know India was a superpower back thousands of years ago, I, I do believe, before they got raided, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of years ago, th maybe thousands of years ago, uh, through the centuries, they were on top, they had the biggest economy for hundreds of years and um, we know what happened the British came in and stole from India truth is truth British you did steal from India so let's check it out let's see why India is gonna be a future global super power quickly transforming into a global superpower for thousands of years, India has been a center for human civilization. Yes, sir. A heart for trade, religion, history, and culture. The subcontinent has hosted some of the largest empires in history, who exerted influence throughout the continent and beyond. Absolutely. However, for much of the 19th and 20th centuries, India lacked global influence. Divided among many empires and kingdoms, it was unable to unite. Yeah, too many wars, too many too many people invading the land for it to be to where it should be. But, what are we learning? Then, on August 15th, 1947, India was granted independence. independence from the United Kingdom, along with neighboring Pakistan. However, just two months later, armed conflict broke out between the religiously divided nations in the region of Kashmir. Over the next 25 years, India and Pakistan fought in two more wars. This Man. conflict, combined with excessive government regulations on the economy, limited development. War just holds you back. It always holds you back. War holds so many countries back. Um, I have another channel where I react to a lot of Philippines, and there's been so, many, so much war, you know, like World War II, that's held the Philippines back. Same for India. Same for India. Then, in 1991, the Indian government began a massive economic liberalization yes. program. Import tariffs and taxes were reduced, while markets were deregulated. This policy brought in massive amounts of foreign investment, boosting the country's industrial and service sectors. From 1991 to 2019, India's GDP by purchasing power parity increased 772%. 772% is a massive, massive increase. From 1.1 to 9.56 trillion US dollars. That is a lot. Meanwhile, India's population soared. Since 1960, India's population has increased 209%, That's from massive, 450 too. million to 1.39 billion Woo. people in 2021. Over the coming decades, this population growth will continue. By 2027, India's population is projected to surpass China's, making wow. it the most populous country in the world. And by 2050, its population is projected to reach 1.64 billion people. Almost this growth will keep India young and its labor number. force large. Over the next 30 years, while China, the US, and Europe's labor forces decline, India's will grow. And, and they're also one of the youngest populations. Having a major economic advantage. In fact, by 2050, India's GDP by PPP is projected to pass the U.S.'s to 43.2 trillion U.S. dollars. That's impressive. Making it the second largest economy in the world after China. This growth will boost the country's GDP per capita. By 2050, it's projected to reach $26,000, nearly four times its value in 2019. This is a little less than Russia's today. However, India's economic awesome growth is not guaranteed. Currently, the country's infrastructure, which is key to attracting investment and fueling further development, is largely inadequate. To improve its infrastructure, attract investment, and foster economic growth, Absolutely. India is pursuing many large-scale mega-projects. 
The first is the $90 billion Ooh. Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor, a massive infrastructure corridor currently under construction. So, a massive, massive highway? That's what they need. Um, absolutely. From south to north, that'll open everything. Of rail lines, airports, highways, smart cities, power projects, and ports. After this is complete, India hopes to develop several more corridors between Amritsar, Delhi, and Kolkata, Mumbai, and Bengaluru, Bengaluru and Chennai, and Chennai and Visakhapatna. These corridors, along with other projects, will form a golden quadrilateral of infrastructure between the megacities of Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai. In addition to its corridors, India is pursuing a $75 billion national road and highways program called Bharat Mala. The Delhi Bharat Mumbai, Mala. Delhi Amritsar, Katra, and Ganga expressways, along with the Char Dam Highway, are part of this initiative. Along with this, India has created Sagar Mala, a $116 billion program to build new megaports, improve the current ones, and establish 14 coastal economic zones. Man, this is exciting news if you live in India. All these uh, projects to improve how you get around the country, how businesses can get around the country, how you can import, export goods. Like, this is going to be explosive for the economy. The Trivandrum International Seaport, which is under construction on the country's southern tip, is part of this program. Along with infrastructure, India is constructing new cities to attract investment. In the state of Gujarat, it is building Dolara and Gift City, two brand new greenfield smart cities. Smart Meanwhile, cities. it is continuously developing Navi Mumbai, where it is building a $2.2 billion international airport. Ooh. Hopefully, these mega projects and smaller ones will successfully attract investment and oh, they will. economic growth, they will. making India a global economic powerhouse. In addition to its infrastructure mega projects, India has several major advantages that will help lift it to superpower status. First of all, its shape naturally provides the country with lots of coastline. Almost right. all of the country is within 1,000 kilometers of ocean. That's awesome. This natural advantage improves the efficiency of getting goods to port. In addition, India's vast coastline strategically sits along one of the world's busiest shipping routes. <laughs> this situation brings plenty of business to its already existent ports, and will do so for its new trade hubs and smart cities. For definitely, definitely going to be a superpower, without a shadow of a doubt, going to be. Furthermore, India now serves as the largest democracy in the world, right in the center of Asia. Because of this, it is able to politically influence both countries in the Middle East and Southeast Asia, along with China, while garnering the political support of other world democracies. Throughout the past decade, India has improved its ties with other major democracies around the world, including with the US and many European Absolutely. nations. Absolutely. During Absolutely. this time, it has also worked to develop friendly ties with China and has tried to improve relations with Pakistan. And since Narendra Modi became Prime Minister in 2014, India has increased its assertiveness in leadership and foreign affairs. It has openly challenged China on disputes in the South China Sea. As you should, as all countries should, China needs to back the hell up and get out of people's land and business and stop fishing the seas out. Has increased its aid in interference in other countries and has publicly expressed its opinions on international events. In the future, India will almost certainly increase its assertiveness in foreign politics. While India's political influence expands, its military will grow. For the last three decades, India has kept its defense spending budget at around 2.5% of its GDP. Because of this, India's defense budget has skyrocketed along with its economy. In 2019, it spent $71.7 .7 billion on its military, almost double to. its budget you have a decade to have it. before. Nowadays, it has the third largest defense budget in the world, behind the US and China. That's and awesome. according to the Global Firepower Index, in 2021, India has the fourth strongest military in the world. Bah. Don't mess with India, baby! Behind China, it has the second highest amount of available manpower and the second most active personnel in the world. 
It also has the fourth strongest air and land forces. I did not know that. And the ninth strongest naval force. I had no idea. India is already a global military power. If it keeps bolstering its armed forces, it will soon power. While India's political and military influences expand, its technological and cultural influences will do the same. India's space agency, ISRO, is the ninth largest in the world and, and is quickly advancing. Yeah. It has sent two unmanned spacecraft to the moon and owns one of the eight operational satellites orbiting Mars. In late 2021, it will launch Chandrayaan-3, which will hopefully land a rover on the moon. Currently, it is developing a crewed orbital spacecraft and other satellites to study Mars, Venus, and the Sun. Like India's defense budget, ISRO's budget is also increasing rapidly. In the future, India will certainly be a major player Absolutely. in space exploration. In addition, in India is participating in other technology sectors. It is part of the ITER program for nuclear fusion and is helping advance biotechnology, IT, the medical field, and many other technologies. Lastly, India's cultural influence is expanding. Yeah, it the is. Indian film industry, Bollywood, Ooh. is the largest in the world by box office revenue and tickets sold. Not only is it popular in India, its movies are attracting millions globally, especially in Africa. In addition, Indian cuisine, music, festivities, and fashion have all found expanding global markets. This cultural influence is also being spread by India's overseas population. India has the largest overseas population in the world, wow. with 32 million people of Indian origin living abroad. Many of these individuals Doctors. have found success, yeah. forming strong bridges and links. In the UK and the US, they are the highest income ethnic demographic. In the wow. future, India's overseas population will continue to spread its culture. Finally, not only are Indian people going to foreign countries, foreign people are going to India. In 2018, 17.4 million tourists visited the country. This I would definitely go check out India. Um... I wouldn't even know where to start. Maybe going through these reactions, I'll learn where to start, but maybe one day I could go visit India because it seems like there's so much to see, so much to experience. This is still relatively low, making India the 23rd most popular tourist destination in the world. However, with a rich history and beautiful sights, tourism is growing rapidly. In 2018, India received over three times as many tourists as a decade before. By it's 2028, it's projected that India will receive 30.5 million tourists, almost double 2018. These tourists will contribute to the economy and absorb the nation's rich culture, spreading India's global influence. Despite all these optimistic trends and predictions, India still has some major problems uh -oh. to overcome. What is it? First of all, climate change presents a huge threat. India has the highest social cost of carbon in the world, uh -huh. which is a measure of the economic harm caused by emitting one ton of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. India's is $86 per ton. For comparison, the United States has the second highest cost at $48. Well, that is much in higher. India, global warming is increasing the frequency of heat waves, and sea level rise will flood coastlines, I know. especially in West Bengal, Odisha, and Gujarat. Bloods. Extreme precipitation events are becoming more common, and the monsoon is shifting. Lastly, air pollution is creating major health issues. We can fix these, though. Another issue is overpopulation. If managed poorly, India's population growth could increase poverty and unemployment while decreasing food security. Furthermore, terrorism is a threat. According to the Global Terrorism Index, in 2020, India was the eighth most impacted country in the wow. world by terrorism. The country's north and northeastern regions are repeatedly attacked by Islamic groups in Kashmir, Sikh separatists in Punjab, and secessionist groups in Assam. Although that. terrorism has decreased in recent years, it still serves as a threat to Indian people and a deterrent for tourism. Another issue Gotta is keep social it safe. division. The nation is still fighting to remove the legacy of its centuries-old caste system. Currently, many lower caste individuals lack education and economic opportunities. On top of all this, India is now dealing with the coronavirus, 
which has caused an estimated 155,000 deaths as of February 2021 and decreased the Indian GDP by 8% in 2020. And still, India has border disputes with China and Pakistan. During the summer of 2020, the Chinese and Indian militaries engaged in skirmishes near the country's disputed border. Why do we call them skirmishes? Um, I'm pretty sure I see in the news where they, they don't use weapons, they use other things when they have skirmishes, which makes no sense to me, but maybe you guys can uh, let me know. Lastly, massive protests have broken out against three farm acts passed by the Indian parliament. This, combined with growing ethnic and religious division, threatens the country's stability. Despite all these issues, India is developing quickly. India's economy, military, and cultural and political influences are expanding, setting it up for global superpower status. Ooh. What do you think? Will India become a global superpower? Let's talk about it in the com I agree 100 and... 10,000% that India is well on its way to be a superpower. Even with the issues, every country has issues. The United States definitely has a lot of issues, and you can't name one country where there's no issues. So it's getting past the issues, getting past the problems. It's, it's figuring out how to fix it and uh, making solutions. And you can do that while you're growing the other stuff, the economy and the military and... Uh, the technology and fixing poverty. You can do both at once if you put your mind to it and you put smart leaders up there to be able to figure those things out. So very interesting video and my answer is yes. India will be a future global, global superpower. What's your thoughts? Comment down below. Hopefully you subscribe, you share the video, you like, all those fun things and I'll see you next time. Peace.